Namaskar. Namaste. Good morning. Welcome to yoga. Energy of the white soul moon. This is not his breath of spirit. So we're going to start off with some conscious breathing. Take this you with your right hand. Nadi showed an alternate nostril breathing. Close off your right nostril breathing. Exhale through the left first. Deep inhale through the left. Off, exhale right. Right. Off, exhale left. Now you show them alternate nostril breathing going for the next minute. We're going to balance your energy body, balance the hemispheres of the brain, air, mind, body. Chest, the chest towards the chin, hold it in for a count of three. Seal intention. Connect to your personal intention for the practice today. Let the energy move up through your body. Seal the breath. Breathe in together in front of the hands. Reach your neck and heart. Send the hands towards the right sides. Good with your thumbs. Purnasya, Purnamadaya, 
Purname Vavashishate Om Shanti 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 The presence of the one divine spirit that dwells within you now. After yoga, stika stiko. Arise for this yoga. Stand up. Okay. Feeling the cold? <laughs> Here we go. Tadasana, the front of the mat, firmly rooting, getting down to your big toe, lifting spread of outer toes, and then drawing to the center, squeezing the inner thighs together, throw belly in, scoop the tailbone, the shoulders up, lengthen the side bodies, throw them back, lift the head up, slide your elbow back, activate your jayu breath, breathing from the back of the throat. Hands and then we'll stretch up, celebrating the freedom of the day. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen and curl. Exhale, step back into plank. Hold plank. Spread fingers wide. Index finger leads the way. Gripper claw the mat strong. Belly up and in, strengthening core. In slow motion, lower down through Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering hips down to the floor, and then lift up out of the hips for a high cobra. Sweep heart forward and up, curling shoulders back at the peak, pulling hands back, arms back, creating more expansion from within. And then lower down, push back, Adamukha Swanasana, downward facing dog. First dog, of the white solar wind day. Stretch it out, bend one knee at a time, lengthening through calf muscles. In yoga, there's five internal winds, directions of the prana, the life force energy. There's prana, ascending energy, stimulated by inhalation. Apana, descending energy, stimulated by exhalation. Take your right leg up to the ceiling, bend the knee and twist, stretch out side body. There's samana prana that governs the pulsation in the region of the abdomen. Switch legs. Dana prana, governs the region of the back body covering up the head. And then Vayana Prana, your entire auric sphere. When you lengthen the pause between the breaths consciously, it builds more spanda, more pulsation. When you're conscious of the process, it builds more Udana Prana. And then the whole process activates your whole aura and chakras. Back to down dog, lean forward. Take a vinyasa. Exhaling down, inhale, rise up. Out of rotating arms and shoulders as you curl. Exhale, flow back. Step it up for a deep lunge. Adamuka Anjani, right foot to the front of the mat, back foot flat. Take hands off to the left and fingertip or ridge top position, keeping arms lifting, shoulders lifting, widen hips back, and then you can release your head. Pushing top of the left thigh bone back. Right knee bending deep, leaning to the right. And then step back into plank. Take a vinyasa. Exhaling down. Inhale, rise up for a high cobra or up dog. Exhale, flow back. Second side. Left foot up. Back foot flat. Hands off to the right. Keep arms lifting, shoulders lifting. Right thigh bone. Pushing back into the hamstrings, left knee leaning to the left towards the outer edge of the foot. And then step back, plank. Feel free to work alternate hands, ridge top, fingertip or fists, exhaling down. Inhale, ascend, pausing at the peak. Exhale, flow back. Take down dog into a twist. Reach right hand back for the outside of your left leg. You can walk your hands or your feet in if you need to shorten your stance. And then push from the top of the shoulder up through the hand as you duck the head and twist. Switch arms, switch legs.
down dog, come down dog, take turbo dog, bend your elbows two inches towards the floor, keep them hovering, don't let them touch, squeeze your arms in, upper back in, push your head up, index knuckles down, in super slow motion, curl in the upper back from here and slide through, take a vinyasa. Exhale, flow back, hold down dog, five deep ujjayi. Feel more strength in the inhale, more power in the exhale, while consciously lengthening the pause between the breaths. Let the breath undulate the spine in a wave-like motion. And then bend knees, gaze up at the end of the exhale, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow. Take feet hip distance apart or a little wider. Clasp hands behind the back for Karmasana. Action pose. Squeeze arms in. Upper back in. Take arms overhead. And then both hands to the hips. Squeeze inner thighs together. Shoulder blades together. Inhale. Rise all the way up. Lift up out of the hips. Open heart. Open throat. And back. And then oops, pausing. Samastiti, turning gaze back within, equalizing awareness and attention. Deep breath in. Exhale, root down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen and curl. Exhale, step or jump. Take a vinyasa. Transition mindfully with your breath. Exhaling down. Inhale, ascending, pausing. Exhale, flow back. Do deep ujjayi. Pulsate with the breath. Inhale, contract more, pulling hands towards the feet. Feet in towards the hands. Exhale, push hands and feet apart, creating more length with the out breath. Bend knees. Gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow, squat deep, Ukatasana. Take it overhead, strengthen core, belly in, squeeze rib cage in. Keep lower abdomen firm, deep breath in, exhale, twist to the right, hook left elbow across. Hands in prayer, push down through hands, and then you can separate hands, left hand to the floor, right hand to the ceiling. Strengthen the breath. If you can strengthen the breath and twist, you strengthen lungs diaphragm and intercostal muscles. Inhale back overhead. Exhale, twist opposite side. Twist from the heart and then you can separate hands if you want to go further. Back overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, jump up or jump back. Take a vinyasa. Right foot up between the hands. Side angle pose. Parsva Konasana. Right foot up. Back foot flat. You can use a block if you need it on the outside of the foot and then draw belly in, scoop tailbone, left arm reaches for the front of the room. Power up your left leg, pushing left thigh bone back, keep right knee bending deep, pushing towards your bicep, towards the outer edge of the foot. From here, so much Chandra 4, top hand to the corner of the mat, lift your back heel up. Point foot out to the right, and then sweep right arm overhead, curling towards a back bend. Nice step back, plank pose, take a vinyasa. Side angle pose. 
back foot flat. Grab the end, scoop tailbone, push off the back leg as you reach to the right hand. Full stretch of the right side body. Top hand down, back heel up, point foot out to the left. Sweep left arm overhead. Nice, step back, vinyasa. Vinyasa, you can keep your, your index knuckle down to your vinyasa, because you, you're popping the hands up and it's going to your wrist. You want to save the lifespan of your wrist so you can keep doing vinyasa. Right leg lifts behind you, lean forward into plank, push your head up, index knuckles down, lower halfway down. Push back strong, right foot up. Good morning. <laughs> Have your back heel up for warrior one. If you need more stability, take your right foot out to the right, both arms overhead. Inhale, contract, ascending, drawing energy up and in, lifting up out of the hips. Exhale, descend, push hips forward and down. Keep your hips level and low. Don't let them lift again. Inhale, contract, building more strength in the thighs, squeezing legs in. Exhale, pushing thigh bones apart, going lower and deeper. A few more strong breaths. Breath in, exhale, release, step back in the plank, the vinyasa. Left leg lifts, plank pose, lower halfway down, push back strong, step it up, Virabhadra, back heel up. Left foot to the left, if you need more stability, belly in, scoop tailbone, take it overhead. Inhale, root down through the feet, draw energy up and in, lifting up out of the hips, keeping right thigh lifting, exhale, bend left knee deep, hips forward and down. Inhale, power up the legs, drawing energy up and in from the ankles to the pelvis, from the pelvis, pulsate out, curling deeper. One more strong breath. Exhale, release, step back, flow through. Right leg lifts again, plank pose, trianga, halfway down, push back strong, right foot up, Virabhadra, same thing, square it off, strengthen core, take it overhead, a few strong ujjayi, inhale contracting, exhale expanding, being conscious with the actions with the breath. In. Exhale, twist, left elbow across, hands in prayer, to the floor, or wrap and bind. Inhale, unwind, step back, plank, take a vinyasa. One more strong vinyasa, left leg lifts, lean forward in a plank, lower halfway down, trianga, push back strong, left foot up, Virabhadra. Uddiyana, Mulabandha, take it overhead. Root down, draw in, contracting. Exhale, push from the top of the hip through the back heel, bend left knee deep. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist, right elbow across. Hands in prayer, twist from the heart, and then reach for the floor. Take left arm behind the back. You're going further.
Inhale, unwind, step back, flow through. Vayu Vinyasa, keeping right foot off the floor, bring your right knee to your right arm and pause, exhale twist, touch your left elbow and pause, take it back in the down dog and repeat five more times to the right arm, exhale to the left, Good. right arm and then twist right across to the left arm and then go back. After six total, you can work in arm balance from the twist, going over a left arm or go over right arm to Kudinya one or two, or just take a vinyasa. Nice. Second side, keep it going. Going for the flash pump. Left arm to the left arm, twist to the right. Bring you out of the tamasic early inactive state to one of Raja fire, heat, and action. So you're left with sattva, balanced and refined energies after class. After six total, optional arm balance or vinyasa. Smoothie. I had breakfast this morning. It was making me sick. It'll go away. <laughs> Although the twisting might not help. Right foot up, both hands to the top of the thigh. Connect to the breath. Pausing. We pause Nasana. Energy expands, awareness expands. And then we take it further. Bowing to the heart. Contract, draw energy up and in, clasp hands behind the back, shoulders up, slide jawbone back, squeeze arms in, upper back in, peel the heart open, keeping left thigh lifting, then right knee deep, hips forward and down. And then back foot flat, bow forward, take it overhead for Vira Sambhasana. Keep right knee bending deep, leaning to the right. Take right arm underneath the leg, back heel up, work towards Kundinya 2 as far as you can take it. Right foot slides out to the right, and then lower halfway down, and hold it. You got it, Aaron. Just wiggle that foot out to the side more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's okay. We're going to put this here just so you get the form down. There you go. Lift your right foot up, pushing it into the knee, and then lift your back foot up. There it is. That's it. Left foot up and pause. Both hands to the top of the thigh. Reconnecting to the breath, to your intentions for the practice. Embrace the timeless and eternal moment. Draw energy up and in, squeezing the legs together, clasp hands behind the back. Side body is long, shoulders up, slide back, squeeze in. And go deep, push through the back heel, then left knee. Back foot flat, bow forward, take it overhead.
boom, continue to take it as far as you can. Take left arm underneath the leg, back heel up. Left foot slides out to the side to create space. Right foot up, side angle pose, round two. Back foot flat, left arm reaches. And then bow forward, straighten right leg, Tita Trikonasana. Snag the block if you need it, straightening right leg all the way. Strengthening core, re scoop tailbone, take left arm straight up. Bring palate, allowing energy to circulate through the crown of the head. Top hand to the hip, step it up. Half moon pose, Ardha Chandra. Stay with the breath, keep it full and deep. Keep your left leg straight and strong. You can hold it here. If you want to go further, it's optional for chapa, bending the knee, reaching for the foot. Rolling shoulder back, head back. Heart rate Ardha Chandra, left hand down. In rotate left leg, squeeze it into the midline. Out rotate right leg, take it up for revolved half moon. Hands down, standing split, left hip high, left leg high, and then squeeze it into the center. Left hand across, pull yourself in a little deeper. And then place both hands in front of you. Leaning forward, optional kick towards a handstand. Just step back in a plank, take a vinyasa. I spot you. Yeah. Yep. Push. Rah. Big toes together. There it is. <laughs> Second side, side angle pose. Left foot up, back foot flat, push off the back leg, right arm reaches, few breaths here. And then top hand to the hip, bow to the heart, straighten left leg, take a Chukona triangle pose. And back to the hip, step up, Ardha Chandra, half moon. Reach for the foot if you're going further, bending knee. This revolve half moon, right hand down, in rotate right leg, squeeze it into the center, out rotate standing leg, take left arm up. Both hands down, standing split. Oh, 
Shadow Mononoke Brick Show. Set hands. You can kick towards a handstand. I'll just step back in the plank and take a vinyasa. <laughs> Big toes together. Tailbone up, head up. More power in the head. Power in the tailbone. There it is. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> Wide leg stance. Step your left foot up. Pivoting off to the side. And then Artemala to the right, bend your right knee, slowly shift over, turning your left toes up towards the ceiling. Place your hands however you need to for support. And then shift to the left, turning right foot up. Right heel pushing down, right thigh engaged. And then back to center. Go wide, angle toes in, heels out. Play your edge, walking your hands back, forehead to the floor, forearms to the floor, or forearms to a block. Chin to the floor if you're in deep. And then slowly heel toe in. Come to squatting at the front of the mat for Baka Sana. From squatting, you can take hands a little wider. Keep elbows wide so you have a wide platform for balance. And then lean forward and squeeze your knees in, big toes in. Hold it five or ten breaths and then optional transition into tripod headstand. Shirshasana two. Super there. Let's do it like this for today. Why don't you, why don't you try squatting on the block, and then I'm going to get you a crash pad. Uh, sorry, bring your feet, bring your feet onto the block, and then set your hands like in crow. And then just think of leaning forward and lifting one foot, and then you can put it back on the block, and then maybe the second one, or maybe both if you feel good. You got the crash pad there, so you won't smack your head. When you're ready, child's pose. Very nice. Resting back. Yoga Chitta Vritti Narodaha. Union is attained when the thought forms. Thought modifications are silenced. Witness the absence of thought. The presence of spirit. Stay right where you are, dwelling within the splendor of your own recognition, or take it into puppy pose, Utana Shishosana, taking knees wide, reaching arms straight ahead, with your palms face up, so there's no stress in the shoulders. You can keep sliding all the way forward, resting your chest down so you can relax fully in the upper back. Oh, yeah. Slide forward another inch. There you go. Today's the day. Oh, you see, I called it. Oh! <laughs> and then push back, child's pose.
down dog. Let's take a vinyasa from Turbo Dog or from Plank. Jump to sitting for Sage Marici's pose, number one. Have your left leg straight in front of you and bend your right knee up towards the ceiling. Have two fist distance between the inner edge of the foot and the inner edge of your thigh. There you go, right knee's bent up. Right arm reaches up, lengthening, and then on the exhale, bow forward, and rotate the arm, wrap it around, going for the clasp if it's available. You can use a strap or a towel if you need it. And then pull your left toes back to the face, left thigh bone pushes down, and then release the head over the knee. Get this foot up right, and push here, push. Keep your left leg active, toes pulling back towards the face. Inhale, lift up, take your right hand behind you in fingertip or ridge top position. Left arm reaches up, exhale, twist to the right, hooking arm across, and then push into the outside of the knee. You can wrap it and bind if it's available, not necessary. Make sure you can keep the breath full and deep. If you ever find a space where you can't breathe fully, then back off. And then inhale, untwist. Ekahasta Bhujasana. Bring your right leg over your right arm. Both hands to the floor. Work on lifting the hips. If the, you can lift and hold it for a few breaths with your left leg straight, cross your left ankle on top of the right foot for Ashtabhakrasana. You can place your left hand on the block. That'll help you get a little bit more height for your lift there. There you go. Keep leaning the hips back so that until the left foot lifts. That's it, that's it, very nice. And then when you're ready, optional Vinny or switch legs, Miami style. What's Miami style? You ask me that all the time, casual and late. Casual and late. <laughs> okay. I have to remember that. I just forgot. <laughs> and that like Casual and late. Pull your toes back, engage your right thigh, and then release your forehead over the knee. Up, C position, left hand back, right arm up. Lengthen, exhale, twist. Push into the outside of the knee. Keep your right toes up towards the ceiling, pulling back towards your face. Twist, work the arm balance as far as you can. Left leg up and over left arm. Both hands down, optional right hand on a block. And then pushing hands down. Lift your hips up and slide your hips back until the right foot lifts. If the foot lifts, hold it for a few breaths and then cross right ankle on top. Taking your left leg out to the side. Keep right shoulder lifting, heart descending. Shri Marichi B from the sitting. This time your right foot's in half lotus and your left knee's gonna bend up. If there's 
stress in the knee or your right ankle on this one, just slide the foot out and just have your foot on the floor and your left foot in front. With the right foot in half lotus, you're going to lean to the right so the right knee stays on the floor the whole time and then bow forward over the leg. And you can wrap and clasp if it's available or just use hands on the floor for support. Too much underneath. Just have it on the floor and then bend this knee up and then bow forward. Wrap and clasp. You're really close. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Inhale up, switch legs. Left foot on top or left foot on the floor. Bend your right knee up. Lean off to the left so the left knee stays on the floor. Optional wrapping and clasping. So the alignment of the knee and the foot, mm -hmm. what is it? Of your left knee? Yeah, so the knee and the toe should line? Yeah. You see how this wants to drop in? Well, take this this way. There you go. My shoulder's a little tighter. Okay, cool. Just hold it there. So you don't want to peel my butt. Yeah, yeah, oh, totally. Okay. It should be. It should oh, be. Okay. We just want to keep weight here like okay. that, and then that'll release your hip. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible to do with your butt down. Inhale up. Vinyasa. Cross ankles. Hop, skip, jump, traverse, slide. Make it happen somehow. Om Shri Marichi. E for easy. Right leg's in Arda Vira position, and your left knee bends up on this one. Switch legs for me, April. So your yeah. So the uh, right ankle's on towards the outer edge of the hip, and your left knee bends up. It's a confusing sequence because you think you just have to think of which leg has to move first to get into the pose. I guess I was thinking about what's wrapping. Yeah, it switches after after B. Keep your hips off the floor on this one, and then hands on the floor. You can wrap and clasp, and then lower head down, and then after the head touches the floor, then lower your hips down. Get your hips off the floor. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Because if the hips are all the way down, then it puts too much pressure in the knee, and you don't want to stretch your connective tissue of the knee. Now inhale up. Place your left hand behind you on the floor or on a block. Right arm up. And then work the twist for F position. Push into the knee. And then you can lower your hips all the way down if there's no stress in the knee. And you can even wrap and clasp if it's available. If there's stress in the knee, you can use your block and sit on the block. Oops. Here, we're going to take it into side crow pose, another arm balance. You can take both hands flat to the floor in front of you, or you can work uneven side crow, taking left forearm to the floor, keeping the elbow underneath the left thigh, and then lean forward and attempt to lift. Straight. Oh, it's the, the clothing man. Too sweaty. You need the pants. Second side. Left leg folds back. Right knee bends up. And then hands for support on the floor. And then wrap and clasp if it's available. Head to the floor first and then energetically. 
can lower energy down through the sitting bones. up, right hand back, left arm up, lengthen, twist, Take it into side crow, both hands to the floor, the right forearm to the floor, keep your left elbow up, lean forward, take it as far as you can, side crow or Dwipada Kundinya, so, this one. Vinyasa. Danielle, is that air too cold back there? Okay. I know you like it hot. <laughs> I've seen you in Bikram class. All right, working towards the G position for OMG as far as you can. Come to sitting. <laughs> It's clear Ekapada Shirshasana first. With your left leg straight in front of you or bent, it doesn't matter. Bring your right leg up and over your right arm and shoulder and then work on bringing foot to the forehead or trap it behind the head. If you can trap it behind your head, then your left knee bends up and then you can wrap and clasp. your head up strong. That's what, That's how you got to keep it right there. And then wrap your left arm around. There you go. Yep. There it is. Oh. Oh, my swap. <laughs> Switch legs. <laughs> nice. Left leg up and over. Head up strong to trap it. Vinyasa. <laughs> Vishta Konasana. You can pivot off to the side for a seated wide angle pose. Clear sitting bones. Clear hamstrings. And when you're set, activate the legs, pushing the thigh bones down. Slowly fold forward, building more strength in the legs as you go deeper. And the inhale, you can create more inner rotation, rolling thighs in, pointing big toe in. Exhale, outer rotate more, point pinky toes back, rolling thigh bones back. Keeping both legs active, start to bow or twist over right leg.
inhale up and switch. Back up, go a little wider, a little deeper, go forward one more time. Back up, optional vinyasa, or just come onto your back and rock around a little side to side. Krishna crunches. Yay. Central part of every yogi's diet. Hands behind the head. Both legs straight, and then you're going to exhale up, bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee, pushing elbow into the knee, knee into the elbow, and then inhale, release, and then exhale back up and switch. Keep both shoulders lifting, curling off the floor the whole time. That's it, go slow to work the core more. Pause for a second or two, pushing the elbow into the knee, the knee into the elbow, nine times on each side, count on your own, 18 total. When you're finished, feet underneath the knees, lift the hips for Setu Bandha, Sharbangasana. Have supported bridge, lifting the hips up, palms face up, or go for the clasp underneath. down. The hands overhead. So, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Or you can repeat Satu Bandha Sharvanga. If you're going all the way up, lift your hips up, chest up, pause into the top of the head. You can take hands wider apart and then curling to the back of the room, go all the way up. You can lift your heels, walk it in, make it tighter. When you're ready, rest down.
back up. You can do alternate leg lifting or back bend push ups. Set hands for round two. Round three is optional from the floor or from standing. If you're done with back bends, you can take it into shoulder stands. Taking legs overhead, holding hips, or just lift your legs up and place a block underneath the hips for Vipri to Karani. Spot coming up? Yeah. <laughs> Keep your head back. One, two, squeeze in. Three. Oh, pretty good. Good there, Eduardo. Pop that right heel. See how his left heel lifts up and his right heel stays down? But it's better than it was a month ago. That's true. God, a month ago, you said. One, two, squeeze in. Three. <laughs> Whew, almost got away from me on that one. <laughs> I held lower or, oh. on the legs, yeah. <laughs> but it was harder for me. Yeah, yeah. I try. I, I didn't use my hands. I used my forearms to try and get you to squeeze your knees in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, it should have. <laughs> After you've been there for a minute, you can lower legs in the plow pose. Halasana. With their five breaths. And then Karna Pidasana. Bend knees over ears, ear pressure pose. Hands to the hips or clasping across the mat. And slowly enroll Matsyasana. Fish pose. Hips down, legs down. Push your arms down. Lift your spine off of the mat, taking head back. You can hold the arch or lift and, and lift the legs in the arm through Tanapada. It's optional. Sutta Parangusasana. Left leg across the floor, right leg up for a single leg stretch. Clasp behind the hamstrings first and resist to build strength. Pull muscle onto the bone, push your thigh bone away, and then push your shoulders down. Lift your heart up, arching lower back. Keeping legs straight and strong, slowly bring it closer towards the chest. You can reach up higher, but don't let the leg bend. Keep your left toes pulling back towards the face, pushing out through the left big toe. Take it out to the right. Keep left hip, left thigh rooting down, tailbone scooping up. twist.
back up. Switch legs. Resist, build strength, turning up the intensity volume, pushing the thigh bone away, pulling muscles onto bone, and slowly bring it closer. Take it out to the left. Up, happy baby pose. Reaching for the feet. Pull knees down. You can rock to the right, to the left. You're going deeper. Arms over the legs. You can bring feet to the head or behind the head. Free yourself, twist to the right, taking both knees across. Twist your stretch however you need to. And then extend long for Shava.
some movements with the fingers and the toes. Arms long overhead. And then roll to the right, supporting the head on the arm bone. One last ohm and universal prayer for happiness and freedom for all beings. Deep breath in. Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Satnam Namaste Enjoy the rest of the beautiful day You Use that block uh, and spray it down with some alcohol and wipe it off with a towel.